Hello Techies, welcome to Automation Innovate Tutorials. My name is Amir and I am a senior programmer. In this session, we will learn how to download, install and configure Automation Anywhere software. First of all, we will see what are the prerequisites required to install Automation Anywhere Enterprise 11.2 version. If you see on my screen, we are having the prerequisites over here. If you see the first Automation Anywhere Enterprise 11.2 is required that you know that is the latest uh, uh, client and control room software that we required. That is the latest Automation Anywhere software right now we have. Another one, Internet Information Services. That is nothing but IAS 7.5 or above is, is required. .NET Framework version 4.6. If it is not installed on the system, we are going to be installed that on our system. Next one, we need to install Microsoft SQL Server 2012 in our local system. That is nothing but in our system. So I have already prepared a video on the uh, you know Microsoft SQL Server 2012, how to install Microsoft SSMS. If you see, the, uh, you know, there's the URL provided below that. If not, I will provide the same URL in the comment section also. Next one. We need Visual C++ redistributables for Visual Studio 2015. If it is not installed, we have to install that one in our system. And the remaining things, that is one is the Internet Explorer 11 plugin or the Chrome is required. These are all the things are optional. Another one, Java plugin and Edge plugin, these two are the optional. But if you see, there's one of the thing, corporate email ID, it is mandatory for us. As of now, in the real time scenario we are going to i am going to show you how to install client and control room but whereas for the developer's perspective or the, you know for the practice purpose we need you know corporate email id to download the software as well as to connect to the control room which is providing by the automation anywhere so for that purpose we need the corporate email id i hope that is the reason you know i have given the you know, example corporate email ID as amir at the rate of corp.com. This is where are the prerequisites before installing automation anywhere in page 11.2. Okay, now as a first step that we will see the IAS services 7.5, how to install on our local system. Okay, let, let me go to the, that is nothing but run. And I'm going to uh, give the command app with dot cpl it will take a little bit time to open all these things please be patient for a while now if you see the programs and features that i'm having turn windows feature on or off i'm just going to click on that okay there's a pop-up is coming out the window features that we are going to get it right now if you see under that that we are having internet information services in my system it's already installed if you see this box has been selected in real time you don't find uh, you know if it is not installed in our system that you will find it as internet information services as blank the checkbox is unchecked now we have to check it and also if you see under below that the worldwide web services these are all the option has been by default has been selected now if you see the security the performance feature, the health diagnostics, what are the things has to be selected. The, all the things has been selected automatically. And if you see the .NET, if you want to extend by default, you want the extensibility of that one, you can select .NET extensibility 3.5 and 4.7. Along with that, what will happen along with the .NET frame, along with the IAS, IAS, it is going to be installing .NET frameworks also, okay? Now, if you see, these are all the things that I have already installed on my system, the .NET Framework 4.7, but still, I'm going to show you once again how to install .NET Framework also. Once you have selected Internet Information Services, click on OK. What will happen over there, I am already installed in my local system. So, it is not going to be installing once again. The features are already deployed in my system. Now, how can I know the Windows service, sorry, how can I know that IAS has been, uh, you know, installed successfully? How can we say, no, this is working fine or not? So open any browser, even it may be Google Chrome or Internet Explorer, and just give the below command. And just type 
ಹೆಚ್ಟಿಪಿ ಕೋಲನ್ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಹೋಸ್ಟ್ if you see uh, that is you know when i am going to click http colon localhost before installing the aes you won't get anything but after installing the completion of the feature aes then if you enter click enter it will give the information about the aes this is nothing but you know it by by seeing that we can say that one you know it is installed successfully by seeing this window Uh, you know we can say you know that iss iis internet information services has been deployed successfully this is how we are going to be confirming that you know on my system is has been installed now as you know there is another step that is dotnet framework 4.6 or the latest version that we need to install as part of this uh, you know automation anywhere enterprise how can we go ahead and we can download and install that one let me go to google chrome and go into the google.com so as of now that what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, you know getting download.net framework 4.7 i'm going to take the version i'm going to download it so if you see there's a lot of urls are coming if you go for the dotnet framework free official that is nothing but dotnet microsoft.com or you know this one you have to select it whatever it may be the microsoft uh, urls that we are having you can go ahead and you can download it there are again we can see there's the runtime as well as the dotnet developer package that we are having it so as of now that what i'm going to do i'm going to download dotnet framework 4.7 package i have already downloaded uh, dotnet framework 4.6 a uh, developer package if you see on my screen i'm having ndp 46 targeting pack let me double click on that microsoft dotnet framework 4.6 targeting pack this is the uh, supplemental license terms please read it carefully before going to install it on your system i'm going to select the checkbox i agree the license terms and conditions and then i'm going to click on install it is started initializing to install microsoft dotnet framework in my local system it will take a little bit time to install dotnet framework microsoft dotnet framework 4.6 targeting pack has been installed successfully i'm going to click on close till now we installed uh, no internet information services and also we learned how to install dotnet framework 4.6 now we have to install microsoft sql server 2012 you know this is a very lengthy process to install it but i have already installed in my system local system so how can you go ahead and you can learn it there the video already created as part of microsoft sql server tutorial there the part to how to install microsoft ssms please watch that video you will you will know how to install microsoft sql server 2012 now what we are going to do now you no know, visual studio c++ redistributables for visual studio 2015 will automatically install while we are going to install automation anywhere enterprise 11.2 maybe that is you know control room or client okay so now we are directly going ahead and we are going to installing client software as well as the control room software in real time scenario we required both to be installed in the systems like that you know the client has to be there for the company purpose and the control room also be you know they will specially install that in their servers you know what now we will see what are the requirements hardware requirements to install this client on the control room now we will see that so these are all the hardware requirements for the automation and where control room if you see the operating system we required windows server 2016 or windows server 2012 r2 so based on that we are going to be installing microsoft sql server what are the versions that we are going to install or it will support it will support microsoft sql server 2012 or 2014 sp1 2016 or 2017 anything is fine already in our system that we have installed microsoft sql server 2012 
And if you see the, the processor speed, it's eight core Intel Xeon processor is required. And the RAM, it's a 16 GB RAM or higher it is required. Well, we are going to be installing this thing, this control room that we required hard disk capacity more than that, you know, 500 GB of free hard disk space is required for the installation. Now we will see what are the requirements, hardware requirements and software requirements that is nothing but OS requirements to install Automation Anywhere client. So first of all, we'll see the operating system. If you see on my screen that we are having a lot of operating systems uh, compatibly with the Automation Anywhere control room. If you see the operating system, uh, Microsoft Windows 7 SP1 8.1 or 8, Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, Windows Server 2012 R2, Windows 10, Windows Server 2016. These are all the supporting operating systems if you want to install Automation Anywhere in your client in your system. If you go for the process speed, we require 3.5 gigahertz plus with, uh, with the four cores and above. And the RAM, 8 GB RAM or higher. And the hard disk capacity, it's a more than 300 MB of free hard disk space is required to install all these things. So I know that you know you don't have the software with you right now to install all these things, but in real time scenario, you know the company will purchase it and they will install it. I will show you first how to do that. So, but the people can ask, you know, how can we go for the practice and all these things? Uh, in, if you want to go for the practice, you know, the automation anywhere company itself is providing, you know, free trial versions, which I will show you after installing that one. Now, let me go to, and uh, you know, let me go through the installation process first for the control room, and then I will go for the client. Okay, but in your systems, in nothing but while you are going to practicing it, you don't want to install control room on your system. It's a just, you have to install only the client, uh, but in companies also the, who are working in the company, they require how to install the control room also, right? So that, that is the purpose where I'm going to first show the, you know, how to uh, install control room. <clears throat> this is my installation setup for the automation anyway. If you see, I'm having uh, installation control room for the automation anyway, and automation anywhere enterprise client 11.2. And this is the you know plugin installation. As of now, we don't require that. First of all, let me go to the control room. So if you see over here, we are having uh, you know Microsoft SQL Server Express along with the 2014 SP1, but we have already installed that one. Don't worry about that. Now we are going to install Automation Anywhere Learn.2.0 control room. Let me double click on that. Now you will get a pop-up for Automation Anywhere Enterprise installs field. If you check it out, the status requirement, there is a requirement that Microsoft Visual C++ 2013 is will package x64. As we discussed at the starting stage, there is one of the requirement, right? Now I can go ahead and I can say install. It will try to extract from your internet that is, you know, that a Visual Studio C++ redistributable package, and it will start installing that. Please bear some time for that. Now, there is one more pending, Microsoft OLEDB driver for SQL Server 18.0.2.0 that we are going to install that one. Let me click on install.
if you got any connectivity issues while installing OLE DBA SQL Server, that has been failed. But still, if you want to continue, you can go ahead and you can continue that by saying yes. So now automation anywhere enterprise installation wizard is starting. Uh, that is no control room is started installing in your system. The setup is in progress. We have to wait for a couple of minutes for that. While uh, the installation without automation anywhere enterprise on your computer to continue, click on next. It will ask for the license agreement. I accept and then click on next. If you want to, you know, installation type preferences, if you want to select the type, it is express or the custom. So you can select it if you want to go for the manually or the, you know, automatically. I will go for the express and then I'm going to click on next. There's no much different for the both the things. Uh, you know, if you want any configuration on default configurations, you're going to get it at the express level by default. So that I'm going to choose only express level. Now, if you see there's the database server and the, you know, for the server port connectivity and all these things, this is asking. So whenever you are working on the particular port, it has to be enabled in the corporate. So by default, the database port is 1433. And if you have any connectivities, all these things, you can check it out. If you see the database server, it is going to be connecting local. That is nothing but on my SSMS. That is no local host it will come as. And the database name on the control room database, it will show as CRDDB new. And the name for the database inside, it will come as the bot inside. Let me go ahead and let me click on next. Automation Anywhere control room has been installed successfully. Now, let me go to the screen. Once the Automation Anywhere control room has been installed successfully, you will find an icon on the top of your screen. If you see, I can see a Automation Anywhere control room from over here. Now, I will show you how to download client version by using Automation Anywhere portal. Let me go to Google and let me search, let me go to URL that is official Automation Anywhere that is HTTPS www.automationanywhere.com slash IN. Nothing but Indian region. Now what we have to do, we have to register over here to get the details, right? So what I have to do, if you go over here that in automation anywhere that we are having the products, solutions, customer and partner, these are all the tabs that we have. If you go for the products, you can see, you know, automation anywhere, enterprise, IQ board, bot insight, bot form, bot store, mobile app. Let me click on automation anywhere, enterprise RPA. Or else you can go for the request demo. Both are the same. Okay. It will redirect to the same thing. If you see, now I want to go for the start free trial. Let me click on the start free trial version. Over here, you can find it out two kinds of uh, things. One is enterprise and the one is the community. As I said, you know, ready, set, automate. This is the screen that where you can find it out. You can get three things. You know, you can find 30 days of trial version gives you full access for automation enterprise RPA for the bot insight, a dedicated IQ bot enrollment, getting started material, including a preloaded sample bots and all these things, you will find it out over here. Okay, fine. Let me go ahead. Let me start the free trial. So over here, you know, I have in the prerequisites, so I asked you to give the corporate email ID or the business email ID. The reason is that if you want to, you know, get the free trial version of the enterprise or automation anyway, you have to provide a corporate email ID. First, I'm just giving the email ID. No, sorry. I'm just giving the name and the last name and the business email ID. I'm just giving my uh, corporate email ID over here. You have to provide your corporate email ID and also in the same way, the country. You have to provide the country details and the phone number. And the company, whatever the company it may be that you have, 
you can go for the just company name okay and just go ahead by checking this box you agree you are receiving the communication from the products and offerings and then you can start automatically that but selecting this one okay once you have sent all the registered details you will get two emails one is that saying that hi amir thanks for signing in for the trial version if you want to download and unzip the enterprise client file you have to select over here to download it this link will expire within seven days another one launch the client by double clicking on the automation anyway and then you are finding this exe right and then what you have to do while after installing this uh, you know client one enterprise automation anywhere client then you have to provide the control room details over here okay and the username and the password the username and the password they will send it to you uh, to your email id which you have provided the corporate email id i'm repeating again you have to give your corporate email id while you are going to be install uh, while you want to get the free trial version of client enterprise okay and then another you will receive one another email id saying that you know hi i made welcome for 30 days free trial version uh, for the iq bot so by using the credentials you can log in into the iq bot login page okay i have already downloaded uh, you know 30 uh, i have already downloaded the client file into my system this is the location where i have downloaded you can find automation in where enterprise client 11.2.0 let me double click on that to uh, to install client into my local system let me double click on that it will ask for the user account control automation anywhere enterprise client i'm going to say yes automation anywhere enterprise client 11.2 setup wizard will come over here okay the setup wizard will allow you to install or modify or repair or remove the automation anywhere enterprise client to continue click on next I'm selecting next and this is the license agreement please go through it uh, go through the license agreement carefully before I accept it then I will go for the next it will ask the select destination folder uh, you know by uh, this default destination folder I'm keeping as it is also if you want to change it please go through the browse and then you can select which folder and which location that you want to install this client and then I'm going to click on next these are the things this is uh, automation anyway is going to be installed ready to install one is the you know it is going to creating a desktop icon and then plugin installation ie 11 chrome and java and ie 8 if you're working on java kind of things then you are you have to select this java and then i'm going to click on install it will take a little bit time to install on your local system successfully Automation Anywhere Enterprise Client version has been installed successfully. If you see, there is an option, there is a checkbox, Launch Automation Anywhere Enterprise Client. So I have selected that box and I'm going to click on Finish. Automatically, you will find, uh, you know, login to the control room. So this is where we have to provide the login and the username and password, which we got it in the mail. Let me show you again. So over here, you can see the control room, right? This control room, you have to provide the URL you have to provide in this control room. And the username and the password, you have to give the user credentials over here. And please provide the username and password to log in into that. Okay. Once again, I'm repeating while you are going to be logged into the control room, you have to provide the login. This is the configuration which we have to do. And the username, you have to provide this username and the password which you have received in your mails while you are going to connecting it okay thank you for watching automation anywhere tutorials in the next session we will learn about the introduction of the automation anywhere client until then thank you bye bye